Okay, so let's log into our class. This is our newest class. This is last year's. Okay, so if we look through Okay, module three assignment second life. Okay, so this is the one we're going to be working on. So I'll let you read that assignment, but you need to set up your free Second Life account. You need to spend about an hour going through the orientation. So um, that's on Welcome Island. Um, it's actually only like a six step um, one if you follow all the boards. Um, if you're in the, depending on the viewer that you're in, if you log into the Imprudence Viewer, with the Imprudence Viewer, um, there'll be an extra tutorial that has nine steps in it. So just take your time with that and watch the video to figure out how to use the search after that to get out of um, the Welcome Island and go to another location. Okay, so you use the search that's built into the interface on the bottom. Okay, uh, so let's get started here. Let's go to Second Life. So we're at the Second Life website. This is not the virtual world. Um, you can log in to Second Life. Once you've made an account, you'll put your your avatar's name. I made it one recently in format. I think you have to put resident as your last name even here. And I my avatar is one name, so Informatica. Resident. And let's log in. The old accounts have actually two names. You had to choose a last name. And so I'm looking at Informatica's dashboard. I actually could create a blog in here. Um, lots of things. And then they have the grid status, etc. And some orientation. You can go shopping. Okay, so I won't get into that. Um, let's see, okay. We can log out here now. So this is the website. You can only, when you log in, you can look at your account, your blog, etc. If you if you do start a blog. Um, what we're going to do now is actually go to We're in on a Mac right now, so we're going to actually create a new account. Okay, let's see, people, animals. Let's pick this one here. Choose this avatar. his name. Let's say I've got everyone with the same name here. Informatica with two K's. Check availability. It's available. My email is... I'm not sure if you can use... If I can reuse that. An email. Let's soon see. It'll tell me if I can't have a new account. If you have a paid account, I believe you can have more than one account. If you have a free account, you might be limited. So 1915, January 1st. Remember to tell the truth and your favorite vacation spot. This is your security answer. Okay, create an account. Not sure if it will let me use this email, but we'll soon see. 
It used to be that you had to go to your email and confirm it, but uh, we're not seeing that these days, so which is great. It's much more automatic. We're going to have a free account. We don't want the paid account. If you pay, then they give you money each month in your account. A free place to live in Second Life, a house. We don't need that for 6 to $9 a month. We're going to take the free account, please. And it says download and install Second Life. So it's starting to download the viewer, but this does not work on a Mac. Okay? I actually suggest to all of you that you might you know, you may want to use just the Imprudence Viewer. It's a pretty easy interface. Um, definitely, if you're on Windows, you can use Viewer 3. It'll work for you, or if you're on Linux, but not on a Mac, okay? So, just, just so you know how you would download that, you'd actually... If you're, if you're on Windows, it would ask you to click on it and it would launch it and you'd save it and it would install onto your C drive, etc. In a Mac, if this worked, you would drag this into your Applications folder. Okay, just you just drag it over and find your Finder window and just stick it in your... Finder window, I would just take that over and drop it in applications. Okay, I'm actually not going to do that today though. Okay, because I'm going to get different software. Okay, so let me open the viewer again. Um, I'm actually going to go to Second Life again. I'm going to scroll to the bottom of the page, click Download Second Life, and I'll come to the page. I don't want this default viewer, even though it, and it does even say here now, download the SL viewer on a Mac, not running a Mac, then download the Windows or Linux viewer, but honestly, it does not work on Macs. Okay, so the voice doesn't work and a few other things. So if you click on so we're on this download on Second Life. I've gone right to the bottom. I'm looking at the More Viewers, um, and it's Second Life Wiki, which includes the third-party viewers. Okay, so let's click on that. Scroll to the bottom of this page. See Alternate Viewers, and we're looking for the directory. Third-party viewer directory, very bottom of the page. And we're going to download well, Phoenix or Imprudence work. I'm suggesting we all download Imprudence in case we want to log into um, one uh, another grid such as Open Simulator. Okay, let's click on Imprudence and click on Downloads. And okay, on a Mac it tells us we should probably download this version on the win on Windows we actually downloaded the stable 1.32 version. Okay, we're going to use the beta for Mac users so we can get our music to work on it, okay? They update these a lot and you'll find that so Intel Mac that's one we want. There are a lot of changes and some you know, Second Life or Linen Lab, the creator of Second Life, isn't able to keep up with all the changes on the Mac operating system, unfortunately. But Windows and Linux is supporting really well. But of course, there are lots of viewers, lots of different viewers that we can use. Okay, so we're using the Imprudence viewer. Let me get rid of all my windows here need this anymore or this okay so here's my software I've just downloaded the imprudence viewer and it tells us to drag this into the applications folder okay let me bring up my find a window again and I'm going to drag that in and put it in the applications and it says I already have it in here or it will say that. Do you want to replace it? And I would, I mean, I could certainly say replace, but I'll say no. Okay, so it is in here. 
there it is. Okay. I actually have, this is the older version of Imprudence, and then if I look up here, Imprudence 4. So, so this is the one we're going to use. We're going to use Imprudence 4. Let me close that out. And let me open my Imprudence Viewer. And there we go. So it assumes that you're going to the last place you, you went to. So because we logged into Second Life using Imprudence before, um, when, it, when you launch the Imprudence Viewer, even though I'm now on the Mac side of the computer rather than the Parallels Windows side of the computer, it, it knows I want to go to Second Life. Okay, so here, don't know how, but it seems to, Second Life. Okay, so it's selected, and it'll pull up something for Second Life, and this is my old avatar, HVX Silverstar. I think um, we could put in our new one that we've just made, which was the cat, right? And his name was Informatic. Informatica with two K's, I think. Boy, I better write that down. Okay, and so Informatica and the last name is always resident if you have one, only a one, one word name. Okay, and your password. Again, we're going to Second Life, otherwise we'll go to one of these other grids, or if you had installed Second Life on your, or I should say Open Sim on your computer, it would you would go to localhost. That would be the one on your computer. Okay, let's log in. What did I do wrong? Okay, it wants me to put in my What did wrong? Informatica. Okay, so for whatever reason, I can't log in with my. Maybe I spelt it wrong. I'm I'm logging in with my. Um, older avatar here. This is my one I made this afternoon, Informatica, with 1K. And I'm... Oh, where am I? Oh, okay. I'm on Info Island, so I'm actually not even... So I've logged into a normal island. I wanted to be on Welcome Island. Let me see if I can find Welcome Island. don't know if I can go back to it. Island. Um, hmm. Well, let's just go there anyway. Okay, not there. Hmm. So the oh, okay. So I'm going to go to somewhere else then for search. Okay. Search places. Let's put in virtual ability. There's a beautiful orientation here. So since I've missed Welcome Island, if you bypass it when you log in, you don't end up with the same orientation. So if you've done that or if you already had an avatar, to get a refresher orientation, go to virtual ability island. Click on Virtual Ability is an island created for people that have um, physical disabilities in the real world, but of course nobody has disabilities in the virtual world.
right? We can all fly, we can all jump, we can do a lot. Okay, so so we can work, go through here, we could right click on here, touch, and it'll take a, give us a note card to tell us about the island. This is a nonprofit organization. Okay, and it tells us here to teleport to the orientation. Okay, so I right clicked and touch, and it should take us good. So here we are, ready to start. This is a beautiful place. And so, just follow the signs. You learn as you go. This is a wonderful orientation. So each sign is a mini tutorial. Just spend a bit of time here. Okay. They're assuming everybody's on viewer two rather than in rather than imprudence, yeah. walk around and see what you can do. If not, um, close it out and create a new avatar with a different email. So you may have to make a new email account and then log right into to Welcome Island. Okay? This really is pretty, isn't it? sit there. Maybe. No room to sit. Sometimes if people make things that they allow you to sit on them. But not here. Okay. Okay, let's log out. File, quit. And it's telling me my second life voice quit unexpectedly. So I could report that. If for today, I'm going to ignore it. 